So we want a table from heaven to show, show us who you are. And Allah warns Sayyidina Isa salam, if we send this table, they're forced to eat at it, and those who don't eat at it will be severely punished. You can't take something from Allah you can't see something from Allah's miracles and then walk from them. You are now accountable for what you do. He said, are you warning? You want to do that? He said, no, no, I want to have the table from heaven. I want to show them. It was all about showing miracles. As soon as this table begins to approach to the earth, the proud ones, we don't need to eat from that. And they left. And pride and bad character always rejects the signs of Allah because of hasad and jealousy. They weren't really looking for a miracle. They were just jealous of what Sayyidina Isa had. As soon as he proved it, no, that I am connected with Allah Now look at the table. So it's probably magic and they walked away. This table is always coming for the nation of Sayyidina Muhammad It's not one time. Tables of zikr and mafir, tremendous blessings. But what these rijal and what Allah want to inspire within our heart, Allah not interested for the world and the physical world. Allah is interested for the soul and malakut, the heavens. Allah has no time. This is a description of the people of Maqam al Ihsan. These are the people whom are Ahlil Basira, their hearts are open. They do what they do for what Allah is going to reward them. So means they don't do things for money. 
They don't set up maqams and stations that if you pay this money, you get this maqam. If you pay this money, you get this maqam. Allah says, no, that doesn't how it work. My rijal, they ask nothing. They ask nothing. There's no fee that you pay and you reach a darajat. It's blood, sweat and tears is the only way to reach Allah's satisfaction. Almost 150,000 Canadians a year will use a homeless shelter. These people need food, clothing, and access to basic hygiene. Fatima Zara Helping Hand is a non-profit organization with the goal of helping the underprivileged in Canada. Along with our active support for recent immigrants and refugees, one of our ongoing initiatives is to feed and clothe the homeless. For more than a decade, we have provided hundreds of thousands of hot meals to some of the most vulnerable and needy. We continue these efforts with several monthly initiatives. For more information or to donate, please visit our website, nurmuhammad.com. Nas Window Blinds offers high-quality custom window coverings for both residential and commercial projects. We offer a stunning range of colors and design options. We also provide an on-site measurement and style consultation so that you can be sure you're getting the very best option for your windows. Let us enrich the look, feel, and value of your space with custom window coverings. Call Nas Blinds today. These Rijalullah, they feed the miskeen, the yatim, and asira. So then they come into our life and begin to teach, who's a miskeen? Not only the one who has nothing and is completely poor, but the one who has everything but sees himself as nothing in the presence of Allah. Rizq is not something that is cursed. All Sahabi Kiram were big merchants, big traders, Otherwise, how they armed an entire nation for Sayyidina Muhammad But they don't let that desire enter into their heart. They took a life of humility. So we said before, we remind ourselves always, <laughs> this miskeen is very difficult. This miskeen is to, to think that I have to be hungry on this path. If you want from their table, if you want from this reality that they're able to explain for you, you have to be hungry. You don't pick and choose if you're going to come and eat that night. You eat every night when those rijals show up. It's not a meal that you've ever had in any of your lives. You can live a thousand lifetimes and you won't eat what Allah is going to be dressing you for. We explained before, if you have a paper and you're writing, you'll understand. One of these rijal, if he's from Ahlil Qadr, and Allah opened for him Laylatul Qadr, every day of theirs is 1,000 months of yours. Every day, 30,000 ni'mat coming upon them. 
If you eat one bite with them, as if 30,000 days of your eating. It's all those numbers, I didn't make the numbers, go back and check the math. 30,000, 1,000 months. When Allah gives, He doesn't, He's not like us, we're stingy. If I give you five dollars, the next day is, I'm not giving you anymore. Allah when He decrees, you have ikhlas. I'm giving to you, every day from this point in your life you'll receive from me my ni'mat. If I found you worthy to make you from Ahlul Qadr, every day for you will be a Qadr. Every day at your Fajr will be a Salam. Every angel and every Amr is moving into the heart of these only Allah. And you pray two rakat with them as if 30,000 of your rakats. You give one dollar to them as if 30,000 donations you give. Imagine somebody accompany them for one week, one month, one year, a lifetime. They begin to teach, no, no, you're, you're using the wrong faculty of your mind. That you have to take a path in which you're hungry to be at their table. You don't pick and choose if you're going to go. Some people said, well, the distance for the zikr was very far. Yeah, it was, it was far for us too. 3,000, 4,000 miles. But this is our life. I'm not talking about anyone in particular. I'm reminding myself every day when I say, I'm not going to go this month. And I don't feel like going and driving there. Some people, they don't need to do that. Allah already gave to them everything. But you took a trust from Allah that if I give to you, you're going to be of service. And the farther you move in your service, the more of these blessings are going to be dressing. So everybody's struggling with that. But you have to truly be hungry. If you're not hungry, don't bother going to the table. It's going to make you to be accountable. So the real maskeen is the one who's eagerly waiting, continuously praying every night. Ya Rabbi, open for me, open. We say, how am I going to open for you, Abdi, if you're not sitting with them and taking from that time? How is going to open to you in the market? Just by revelation and wahi to you? Sit at the table. Every word that they're putting onto you is a dress upon your soul. And that's not like any other association. You can have 50 people who call them sheikhs, but if not from these rijal, and not those whom their entire being is maqam al ihsan and their entire basira is to look to what Allah want to show them, they're going to be dressing you. Every association is a unique and new dress. As soon as the association and the zikr begins, these are the people of muhabbat and love, that they open such a love for Prophet And their shaykhs open such a love, that the minute you enter into the zikr, their love releases their soul into the room. They are fulq al What's the fuluk? What does Allah care for a ship? Other than your soul is a ship and it knows how to get to Allah but loaded ship. Their souls are powerful, filled with energies that Allah bestow upon, bestow upon. As soon as they enter in an association, everyone's souls are put upon their soul. The minute they enter into their ish, everybody is risen up to the presence of Sayyidina Muhammad Allah. It's not something hard. You have to use Abba and say, well, Shaykh, how is this possible? How is this earth moving? <laughs> this earth has seven billion people and it's a ship. And it's just moving around, moving around. How many billions died on this earth? Say, trillions of souls are on this earth. Whom Allah loves more? The earth or Bani Adam? Allah kar karam ya Bani Adam. I honored your soul more than anything of this physical world. Imagine the potential of your soul. Everywhere it goes, it's a light. And every light it connects with and grabs. 
if that's one of these rijal, every mirage that Allah Zawajal dressing, every barakah that Allah Zawajal putting upon them, it dresses every atom of anyone who's with them. And what's the strongest way to keep your atom with somebody? Not through your aqad. You can't think of, oh, I want to be with Mawlana Shaykh. You have to love Mawlana Shaykh. <laughs> when you love, Prophet sends hadith, you'll be with whom you love. And whom you love will always be with you. Welcome to Rumi Rose Garden Cafe. We offer an exclusive line of more than 40 teas, custom blended with ingredients from around the world. Rumi also offers an excellent locally roasted Italian coffee and other hot beverages. If you spend all your life just sitting and trying to concentrate that you're with Prophet and that you're with Allah it ain't going to happen. You can concentrate all you want, you enter into the world of false imagination. The fastest and most powerful bond, the true bond that moves beyond space and time is love. When you love them, Allah gives you reward. There's no intention. There's nothing bad you can do with love. Just don't harm someone with love. So it means that love opens that association. Those are the miskeen. They teach, be hungry. Look for their associations, attend the association. They're going to be dressing you. If you have to drive two hours to the association, you're going to get more blessings than the person who had to walk five minutes to the association. And that's going to be taking away all the difficulties that you're facing now and praying for every day, that this difficulty taken away, this debt to be taken away, this hardship to be taken away. So I'm going to take it away if you don't just move. So then they have a hunger like a poor person that looking for a piece of something to eat and you cry out of shame, go to the store and see how they're eating out of a garbage can, out of the hunger that they have. And Allah said, asking, you have that hunger to reach my marifah? No, you're fool. You don't even care if there's an association. Have the hunger of these poor people. Then we understand what is miski. Then they teach, be a team. Don't think that you're attached to anything. Anything you're attaching yourself to is going to distract you from this love of Allah Sallallahu Yatim means he's completely cut off from everyone. His friends don't like him because he can't sit with them and talk about nonsense stuff, especially about kicking a ball here and to this side, then kick a ball onto that side, and then kick a ball onto this side, or hit a ball with a stick. He becomes Yatim. His thought is about how to please Allah, how to love Sayyidina Muhammad. How to be of service to Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. I could be opening my grave tomorrow, I could be dying. And he finds no more interest in idle talk, in idle associations. 
and then he finds himself like he's been cut off. If we're not reaching that, and we're not reaching a feeling that, what am I doing there? What am I doing in the stands and screaming and yelling for a ball that I don't even own? And you're not going to get a dollar from their salaries. And then you begin to think and wake up, something wakes up. I don't need this, Ya Rabbi, I'm going to walk away from this. And then the yakin begins to come into the character that you want to be with them, you want to be in the circles of zikr, you want to be in their associations, you want Prophet to be happy with you. At that time then they begin to open then asira. Then come and accompany them but not with your mind and not with your thought. Come as a captive, as a captive. They grab you and say, follow. Your mind didn't work for you in anything you did. Now you want to use it with them? Then you want them to fall too. Because mind is a very dangerous thing to use. The mind is like uh, when they say somebody's drowning in the ocean. They say, don't you dare go out and try to save that guy. Because he's going to take everyone down with him. That's why a lifeguard has to go. He goes with equipment. He goes with something Allah gave to him as a lifeguard. He goes out and saves people. But you go, he's going to put your head under water. That's why they can't listen. So you want to come to this path, just submit. This mind of yours is wrong. You have to shut the mind and open the heart. And who, who was the example of all of these? Wasn't Sayyidina Bilal al-Habashi? Example of that? Wasn't Sayyidina Solomon of Farsi? Salam to all of them, may Allah's infinite blessings be upon their souls. There was the Dali, we're not making stories up. They put themselves in captivity. Say the Solomon of Farsi, he gave his life to find the Prophet of the last days. He served a Jewish priest, he saved, served a Christian priest, he served many people and he walked away from the wealth of his family in search of that reality. He made himself to be miskeen. He cut himself from all his ties and he became yatim. And in the end when he had amassed a little bit of money and the last person he served said, you served me so well, let me tell you a secret. This prophet that you're waiting for is coming to your three. Coming to Medina to Munawa. Take your way to that direction and you deserve what you've been looking for. He went to the bazaar and said, is there a caravan going in that direction? They said, yeah, we have a caravan going. And he gave his property, take me. And they said, no problem. And they flipped everything, stole everything and tied him up. He said, actually, now you're our slave. Your property is our property. They stole his property. They took him as a slave and sold him to a Jewish merchant who's living in Medina. He entered into Medina as a slave, Asira, as a captive. And what, what did Prophet say after the whole dialogue with Sayyidina Salaman al Farsi? He said, This story of Solomon is true. Tell the companions, and Solomon is my Ahli Bayt. Oh. Sahabi all sitting there. We fought many battles, we did many things with you. He became Ahl al-Bayt. Yeah, so there's a secret. Prophet is teaching his love is immense. His whole life was a struggle. He gave everything up. Of course, he comes to my door as a captive. He's my family, he's everything. We pray that Allah bless us and bless us with the realities of Holy Quran and the reality of the love of Sayyidina Muhammad Sallallahu Salam and al-Mursaleen. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. Hormati Muhammad al-Mustafa. Wa bisi Rasulid al-Fatiha.